Hello guys, and welcome to part 15 of me making a film score generator. In part 14, I left off when I started making the interface, so I will explain this in today's video. Here was my design for the interface. I made it similar to the Note Training GUI, with the key binded presets and preset percentages. I added an area to view keyframes, and buttons to select, deselect, add, and delete keyframes. I also added saving and opening projects. The interface was a lot easier to make than the interface from my second film score generator, because my current I needed way fewer buttons. My biggest challenge while making the interface was optimizing the rendering of text, because Scratch's animated text add-on was very laggy. After I made the interface, I went back to improving the generation. Because the eyes chord memories were wrong, the songs it generated sounded atonal. So, I decided to manually change the chords for all note memories, and create my own chord progressions in the chord memory list. The music now sounded far less atonal, but it still repeated too much. So, I made a system where the eye would pick the memories based on chance. The chance gets lower when the memory is picked, and gets higher if the memory wasn't picked in a while. Now, excluding the fact that the eye's music didn't sound exactly perfect, I could pretty much call my eye finished. However, I felt bad for stopping the project, because the music it generated was still very bad. So, I came up with a plan to improve the eye, optimize the generator, fix the chord identifier, and train as many songs as possible. For being trained on only 3 minutes of music, the eye generation took too long. Generating a 60-minute film score could take almost an hour. So, I began optimizing the generator. When the code listed all possible instrument combinations for each chord, it would include many duplicates and end up with thousands of items in the list. So after optimizing this, I realized the speed almost doubled. I also found out that the code recalculated the happy, sad, and suspense values of all 400 note memories for every chord, even though the calculations would never change anyway. For each chord, it also spent a significant amount of time adding rests to the end of every note over and over again. So, I made it only add rests after all chords were generated, and only calculate the happy sad and suspense values in the beginning. Lastly, I realized that the code which scans the note memories for the best notes could be optimized. After running checks on all 400 note memories and failing, it would only increase the range to search in by one. So, it would have to scan through the 400 note memories again and again, doing so in upwards of 50 times. Instead, after scanning through the memories the first time, the eye would remember the note memory with the closest happy sad suspense values, and the range would increase to that number. This somehow caused difficulties with identifying note memories, so I made the checks even less specific. But then, the eye started generating holes in the music. I was very confused, but after multiple days of debugging, I found out it was because the note memory identifier wasn't specific enough, causing tens of thousands of note memories to be identified. I also had to revert some optimizations, because they ended up causing bugs as well. After many days of fixing it, the eye was ready. And because I was too lazy to begin training the eye with more songs, I stopped working on it. But of course, I will have to train the eye more to finish it, and I will do that in the next two weeks. See you then, and bye.